All right, hey guys, welcome back to another repair video. I've got an IGTS Plus in. This is a five line, uh, five times pay. Customer dropped it off today. Uh, a couple of issues. One, uh, they were having some error codes. I got that resolved, but there's also some hopper issues. Um, it is not kicking the coins out. It's just cycling them around and around. So uh, I suspect I know what the issue is. It's the, uh, the little knife in here that's supposed to pick up the coin and put it through the chute here. So I'm gonna to try to repair it myself. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to just buy another one, but I think I can fix that knife. I can tell it's not flat against the, the, the motor that goes around or the wheel that goes around, which is the issue. So I'm gonna see if I can fix it. And uh, my wife's like, you gotta start videoing this stuff more. I'm like, I know, but do people really wanna watch this? <laughs> Who cares, right? Anyway, so what, um, I started working on it already, but um, I need to get this, I'm gonna start taking it apart piece by piece um, so that I can get um, get access to the knife, which is in here. It's called a knife, but it's really just a little, uh, you'll see. Let's see, where are my wire cutters? Don't need that. Couple more back here. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, so this thing right here should be flush up against here so that when a coin comes around up here, see right now the coin's coming through and it's just going all the way. I can't rotate it uh, while the machine's not on, but um, what this knife should be doing is picking it up when it gets to here and carrying it over here, um, but it's not because it's not flat up against that. So I need to determine why that is. Let's see if I can get it down there. I don't know if this plate needs to come up or this needs to go down. I suspect that I just need to lower that somehow. Um, let me find my screwdriver here. That might fix it there. I don't think this plate seems a little extra. It's like lifting it up too much. Again, I'm not a genius. <laughs> I'm just trying to to use common sense here. I know how the thing works. I'm just trying to find a weird way to fix it. Let's give this a shot. And see if this doesn't move. I really don't want to buy another one of these. They're uh, they're not expensive, but the shipping on them is outrageous because they're really heavy, as you can imagine. Probably about 150 all said and done. And not 
totally convinced yet, but we'll see. It's a lot closer than it was. And other ones that I've seen, these have been metal, so this one's plastic. I'm not really sure why. And I probably don't need to put that on the test. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I think I fixed it. <laughs> I think I did. Um, let me um, I hate this tripod. I really need to get a better one. <laughs> okay. So let's try to do some play here and then I'll do a cash out. Let's try cash out. Look at that. Fixed. I'm still not convinced. I'm going to play some more. Let's get a big cash out here. Alright, it's better. Let's try that. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that was a short video. I thought it was going to be a little bit more complicated than that. But let's... Um, I think what we'll need to do here is... put that metal plate back on. You guys want to see that stuff, right? <laughs> it's not complicated, it's just a metal, metal plate. back on. Hand tight. That's the one thing in this business that I've learned. Help a brother out. Just hand tight these things. You really don't need to like you know, this isn't a NASCAR <laughs> tire or anything like that. You've got so many nuts and bolts everywhere and screws. You really don't need to uh, do anything serious. All right, let's put the whole thing back together. Oops. I didn't have the camera down while I was putting that back on. Sorry, guys. Didn't think about that. All right. We're good to go. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next repair video or whatever video. Oh, actually, while well, I got you, let me show you what's up with uh, these other machines. So we were working on this one last time. Uh, it's pretty much good to go. I uh, just need to clean it at this point, um, but everything's working. Um, I got to replace the top, uh, the bottom monitor, touch screen. I've already got one um, somewhere in here, down there. I just need to put it in there. That'll be good to go. Uh, this one I started working on. This is the three reel five line, and boy, this one is in bad shape. Um, not the, the, the cabinet is filthy. 
um, and I cannot get the bottom door to close. Uh, plus there's some other issues. This uh, jumper switch here is not making contact, so wires are probably loose behind there. Um, what else was there? There was no CPU box in there, so I had to steal that one. Uh, steal a CPU box from another machine to put it in there. It also does not have the BV harness, so I've got to put the bill validator stuff in there. I do have a ticket printer, so that's good. Um, but I cannot get the door to close, and obviously that's not going to work. So something's not lining up. So I'll probably take some parts out of another machine that I have. Uh, probably this door, I'll have to replace the door because I, I basically... I guess limited you know process of elimination figured out that it's not the bottom door that goes up like this it's this something's not making connection here something's off and I can't really see it to figure out what it is so all right anyway guys we'll see you on the next repair video and maybe I'll do some live play of uh, uh, the top dollar here in case you guys are interested let me know in the comments if you want me to and also tell me what denomination you want uh, don't say 5,000 please <laughs> I have to put the ticket in thing in there first. I don't have that set up yet. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Take it easy. Home slots fun here out.